one, it's Blakely with Everyday Gourmet. So if I want to really impress someone, I make homemade risotto. It's actually not that hard to make. It's just a little more time consuming, but it's just creamy, it's dreamy and delicious. So spring's right around the corner. So what better way to utilize those beautiful spring vegetables than make it a risotto? I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So in here, I have a tablespoon of butter. I chopped up like a, almost a cup of asparagus. So I'm just gonna chop them up. I'm just gonna do about a cup of frozen peas. There you go. Like that. So I'm just gonna cook these until they're perfectly cooked. So then in the meantime, I have a leek here that I cut in half and it ran under the water. Because if not, you get some, some sandy leeks, which you don't want. So I'm gonna cut this. Now if you wanna use onion, you can, but I like the flavor that leek adds to this. Plus it's very springtime to me. I'm going to cut it all the way up to the top, just right here. I don't want to go all the way up to where the dark leaves are, just like this. Perfect. I'm just going to keep cooking these. All right, so these look perfect. I'm just going to go ahead and put these in the pan, set these aside. We'll add them at the very end. So in the same pan here. I have two tablespoons of really good quality butter. I'm gonna put that in there along with our leeks. Let me saute. I'm also gonna add some salt, just a little pinch. And I'm gonna do six cloves of minced garlic in here. All right, so to that, I'm gonna add Six cloves of garlic. Put in here and cook this until fragrant. So just a couple of seconds here. And I love doing this for all the different seasons. During fall, doing butternut squash risotto is one of my favorite things. I don't make it that often because, you know, it's risotto. Not the healthiest for you, but it's such a special treat to make for a loved one. Plus, it's great as a main course, a side dish, pretty much anything. All right. Let's go ahead and cook that. And by the way, I have six cups of chicken stock here. That I brought up to a boil, and now it's just at a slow simmer. You want to make sure that you have very hot chicken stock here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, we're going to toast this rice. You have to use short grain rice. Very important. So I'm going to do one and a half cups in here. All right, so I'm just going to stir this around. Very important. to toast this rice for about one to two minutes, cooking, starting it around. Okay, so this has been cooking. You can see when, this, when the edges of it are a little bit translucent. So I'm gonna do some white wine, make sure that it's room temperature. I'm gonna do like a half a cup in here. There we go, perfect. So I'm gonna keep stirring this, letting it cook until you don't see any liquid left. So that's the secret to making a good risotto, is you wanna completely cook it until you don't see any of the liquid because that rice in there is slowly but surely absorbing all that beautiful liquid and releasing all kinds of starches and it's gonna make it really creamy and amazing and delicious. So look, you can already almost see that it's gone, but it's just absorbing all that flavor. Right, that almost looks good. So, we're gonna be working with like a ladle at a time. So, so we're just gonna keep adding one ladle at a time, letting it cook, stirring very often until that rice is done. So we're just gonna, we're almost gonna use all of that. Probably won't use all of it, but very close. 
So this is done. How I know is I took a little bite. You wanna make sure it's al dente, but not mushy and not crunchy. I pretty much used almost all but a cup of my uh, chicken stock. So I'm gonna turn it down. I'm gonna go ahead and add that in there. I'm gonna add another tablespoon of butter in there. I'm gonna do some lemon zest right in here. Really brighten it up. Just a little bit, it's like a teaspoon. I want it overwhelmingly lemony. And then I'm doing ooh, some grated cheese right in here. I am using a very good quality Pecorino Romano, which I was told is the best way to do risotto from an Italian person. So, took their word for it, but you can also use Parmesan. I've also used boars and cheese before, and that's heavenly. So we're just gonna stir this all together. And then check the salt after you're done. Doing all this, also do some pepper. Beautiful. All right, just stir this together. And that is it. How delicious is this look? Creamy, heavenly. Perfect side dish, perfect entree. You can also use leftovers. You can make little risotto cakes, which are always amazing. All right, time to eat. So how easy is this risotto? I can't wait to eat it. I'm just gonna take, take a little bite, see how it is before I serve it. So there you have my spring risotto. I hope you like it, and don't forget to subscribe to Everyday Gourmet Blakely for more delicious recipes and videos. Mm.